Take a look. Take a look. Fari X killing the hip hop game, the business game, okay, the entrepreneurial game. This is what she does. Let me just 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 check it out. Queen boss, I'm about my paper with the shits. If you cut me short, don't give a damn if that's your man's. Fuck your bro code. I'm about these decimals. Queen boss, independent big business. Queen boss, queen boss. Where did it all start? Your humble beginnings. Okay, so everyone, it seems like everyone has the same story. It started when I was five, I started when I was six. But honestly, um, from what I remember, I actually do remember, you know, getting in front of the mirrors and taking the brushes and the combs, acting our roles, singing to Patti LaBelle and in Vogue, and then rapping to like Salt and Pepper. Getting it in. Yes, MC Light. Just <laughs> copying, you know, whoever I saw on TV. You know, Janet Jackson was one of my like major, major, major influences as a child. So um, I always tried to copy her. Like I knew. Now why Janet though? Um, she danced, and I loved dancing. I loved dancing, and I loved her choreography to Rhythm Nation. And um, that's a big one right there, y'all. Like think about that Rhythm Nation. But she's a little girl now, and she's mimicking what she's doing. Um, yes, I was a little girl, and I absolutely loved Janet Jackson. So it, it kind of started from there, you know? So how did now, now, you know, you as a little girl, this is what you're doing as far as, you know, you're dreaming, thinking about, you know, all of your things of, of how you want to make it in life. Like now you're getting older, you're flourishing into a woman. Like how are you able to take your dreams and turn those into goals? So it was very, very difficult, honestly. It was a difficult ride and journey for me, um, mainly because of where I grew up at. You know, um, I grew up in the city of Boston. So it was a little tough because that wasn't really what was happening here, you know? And it, when I was coming up, it was just a lot of crime and, you know, stuff like that. So I was in the streets a lot and it was just kind of hard to kind of stay, you know, on that straight road to where I wanted to be at. Staying stable and, and, and focused. And yes, it was hard hard staying focused you know growing up here as a child and stuff like that so um once I did actually leave the city is when I was able to focus so you said I'm out of here yeah I had it was it, it was by choice it, yes it was it was definitely by choice so let me ask you this question like you know there's this thing where especially in Boston yeah. Massachusetts period a lot of people say oh you know in order to make it you know from in Boston you have to leave Boston like did you feel that that was a necessity for you as well? I felt like in order for me to stay alive, I had to leave Boston. Not necessarily make it in the industry, it was more so stay alive or, and stay out of jail, prison. Yeah. You know, I felt like I had to leave. Not becoming a statistic. Exactly. Yo, that... <laughs> I, I hope I hope all our viewers and listeners out there like understand like we usually hear that from guys. You see what I'm saying? But we're hearing it from a woman, a female, not to discredit her, no, but just imagine how hard it is for women. You get what I'm saying? Growing up in that light. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't, I'm not going to say you were in that life. I'm just saying what was around you, you know? Oh, you were? Yes. I oh, shit. Was. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, well. I definitely was. <laughs> yeah. oh, right. Okay, well, uh, shit. Add that on to the ice cream top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely was. So it was It was a definite that I had to leave. I, it was Mando. Like, I had to leave. And I knew for sure I wasn't going to really accomplish anything or amount to anything if I stayed here any longer I knew I had to leave like I it was just time to go like you're not gonna be successful so now that you leave like you left right you're out the picture meaning you're out of Massachusetts period once you landed what did you like once you landed like did you say like I can finally focus like what was your ambition at that point so when I left I landed in Cali and um and you, everyone, she has an accent, by the way. She she has an accent. She she has a certified Southern accent, and she <laughs> keep talking, keep talking. Let them. <laughs> what? They ain't gonna believe this. <laughs> what? What? No. So when I left, I landed in Cali, and um, 
I was like, it's finna happen. Like, I knew it wasn't gonna happen right then and there, you know? But I'm like, this is it's gonna happen here because I was around greats there. You know, and um, that's big, yeah. I was now. Do, do you want to name some of the people that you were around when you was out there? So, some of the most popular people I was around in Cali, the Bay Area, was Three Times Crazy. That was a group popping back then. Um, the Loonies, oh, Loonies, yeah. Shout out to the Loonies, man. Yeah, that's... I got five. Oh, come yeah. on, we can keep going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I was around, you know, people like that. Um, 40, you feel me? So, it was easier. Oh, shout out to E40. He sent me a message on Instagram. Not a message, but a shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Shout out, yo. Yo, hey. You know, you know, you know what it is? It's crazy. That's right. That's right. You feel me? So, that's that's who I was around. So, yeah, I had to definitely, yeah, gay area. You feel me? Um, My man, um, I honestly, I would say that my one of someone I can call like my first boyfriend was the one that really was like, take this mic. <laughs> he was like, take this mic yeah. and you're gonna rap this. Mm. And it's gonna, you're gonna say it like this and you're gonna rap this. I was like, rap that. And he was like, yeah, this was, he sat down and he wrote this, this verse. He's like, you gonna say it like this and you gonna rap it and we gonna record you rap it just like this. And Kudos I was like, him. I was like, <laughs> he was like, because you be singing and you be, because I was singing a lot of Mary J. Blige and rapping, right? Singing a lot of Mary J. Blige and rapping. He was like, oh no, you finna do this. It was him and his cousin, you feel me, who's on this page. What's up, what's up, what's up? Shout what's up, up, what's up to, you know, you and you? Um, <laughs> So I ain't gonna say no names, but you and you, what's up to y'all? Um, but yeah, so uh, my, I'm sorry. So yeah, so my hey, take that over from yeah, yeah, you yeah. take it. So this is your interview. Yeah. So I, I need to be interviewing you. Yeah, so she's the star. <laughs> no, no, no. Go ahead, go ahead. No. <laughs> so my uh, baby father, that's who it was. My children, okay. my okay. child's father. Okay. He's the one that was like, it's time for you to rap, mm. like. You you need to do this. He pushed you. Yeah, he did. He's That's like, what's up. He said you need to do this, uh -huh, uh, and I was like, all right, all right, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Yeah, so yeah. I did it. You feel me? And then it was just like, all right, and I'm about to write my own shit right now. You feel me? So I was went back to the crib in Oakland. Was writing stuff. You went to work. I was like, it's, this has been a happen, you know. And then that's just kind of basically what happened. Like, you know, what's funny as you're expressing, like, you know, uh, even your humble beginnings, like, and you're taking us through a journey. Like, I can, I can just watching you and listening to you, I can feel and hear your buildup of of how. Energy, energized you were and how much it meant to you you know kudos you know what I'm saying and, and, and like I'm thankful to him I'm very thankful because he pushed me because he was like Yo, you, you ain't in Boston no more that hood shit you know whatever, whatever. like you about to write you a star he was like you a star I was like alright let's go yeah 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 yo shout out man shout out listen man you, you done made a gem you know and not only is she looking right her music is even writer does that make sense <laughs> It's even doper. Doper he, ego. He, he tells me all the time, like how he just he absolutely just gives me all the best compliments in the world. Like, yeah, that's, like yeah. Yeah, that's that's beautiful because it shows that he has your back. You know what I mean? Like that you, you can't say that about a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of uh, you know, speaking on like relationships and having ch a child or children, it's always like, oh baby mama, baby daddy drama, like it was never any of that so with us. So it was just you know what I mean? And that's very uncommon. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we cool, we cool, you feel me? Like so that's just what it is. See now you being, you know, you're in the Bay, you're doing your thing, and like, when did you start to see yourself flourish on the West Coast to where now you saw yourself now, you're starting to make moves, traveling moves? It was once I, it was once I left the Bay. Okay, so actually I recorded something in Vallejo, right? I'm not sure if y'all know where that is, but I was in Vallejo. Southern Cal. No, 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 that's that's still the Bay. It's still oh, the Bay. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, listen, I don't, I don't know nothing about that. I don't, I don't know about yes. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know nothing. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know nothing about California like that. So she's gonna give it all. <laughs> so I left, I left the town, Oakland, and I went to Vallejo. Um, I recorded some, you know, some joints or whatever out there, and then it was like, I right, time to move to Southern Cali, Vegas, in Southern Cali. So I did. 
and I ended up leaving. And I was down that way for a minute, and that's when stuff started popping. You know, it just started popping. Now, were you able to meet like you know uh, other connections that help you to build in Las Vegas as well and Southern Cal? No, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't more so the connections. It was more so the support. Gotcha. Yeah, it was more so the support, and and um, honestly, people kind of gravitated to my energy. I was always like a fun person. I made a lot of music that um, is popular now, like a lot of that twerk type of music and drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like real. I was making that kind of music then. And damn, so you 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 can say you're an innovator. You have to. I, I, I don't want to say stuff like that, but I'll say it. Hey, I'll say it. Hey, I, I was definitely making music like that. So I was definitely, <laughs> I was definitely making music like that, and um, it. Yeah, it just caught the air of listeners and girls that like to twerk. And at the time, twerk team was popping. I don't know. If now, what year are you talking about? Like around this year, it had to been two thousand and maybe. Four. Yeah. Damn, so you okay, when did when did when did Drill come out? Like really become a fad as they say Chicago or whatever. What was that? Oh oh ten? Yeah, I'm thinking like oh nine or something. Okay, so that means you were damn near six, seven years ahead of it. Yeah, I definitely was. <laughs> Yeah. That's big. This was in oh four or something like that. Yes. Yeah, about seven, seven no more more than that, about eight years. That's huge. I suck at math, y'all. But so yeah, so it was back then, and um, I had a little relationship with. There was a popular um, girl dance group that basically t created the popular twerk term now, and that was the twerk team. So, yeah, I heard them before. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they had the you know the internet going crazy with their twerk videos, you know, shaking their ass. And I was cool with. Um, I, I had a relationship with Miss Twerksum, so she done went made some videos. It was just popping. You feel me? They were making money. They were traveling. In videos. My song played in a couple of things. So nice. yeah, you know, and it, it was just popping. You know, so and then from there, I uh, ended up moving to Georgia at some point. You know, and they was in Georgia, so I ended up moving to Georgia. I'm, yeah. glad, I'm glad you mentioned Georgia because now with Georgia. Do you feel like Georgia was like basically it now to where you said, yo, I've gotten experience being obviously in Boston, right? Then you're in the Bay, then you're in Vegas, and now you're in Atlanta. Like those are four different mainstream places. Like did you did you feel like being in those environments helped to make you who you are? Yeah, it definitely has every bit of who I am right now. Like I, I took a part of Boston, Cali, Vegas, and Atlanta, and I just... It just made me, you know? It just made me. So, um, like, when I was back west, I was still much younger than what I am now, you know? So I was still a firecracker, still fighting. and Ambitious. Yeah. I was just doing a lot, you know? Mm -hmm. But it was like, um, I was developing, you know what I mean? Mentally. Mentally, I was developing, but I was still a child, you know, mentally, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I was learning as far as music, as far as being who I am, like self, learning to love myself, you know, and... and I'm, can I reiterate on that? I'm glad you mentioned that because you have a lot of people that will never, you know, admit that. They'll never confess that and said... Yeah, they mention music or their projects and things like that, but they'll never talk about the experiences of maturing as a person in real life, you know, and for you to admit that and to confess that, that that's kudos to you, you know? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it was definitely a, a growth yeah, yeah. in between the 2002 to 2024, you know? Yeah, yeah. Even in 2023, I was going through a serious growth period in 2023. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like, yeah, it, you know, we all go through those times. You get what I'm saying? But I learned a lot through my whole music entertainment, you know, journey. I just, I, I learned a lot. See, that's what it is. And now, you know, uh, you being, you know, now you're in Atlanta, you're doing your thing, right? Now, obviously, you know, you got to set your precedence, especially in Atlanta. Like, what was one of your first projects that you did that really put you on the map up there, down there? All right, so um, there used to be a website. Um, it was called SoundClick. Mm -hmm. And uh, SoundClick, that's where you was able to get all your beats. You was able to um, upload your own music on there. Mm -hmm. So there was a very popular producer on SoundClick back then, and he was doing a contest for whoever had, could make the best song to his beat would win 
five thousand dollars mm. right so mm, i went ahead and did it you smashed it i definitely did <laughs> and um i definitely did one my song was called strawberry pain and um i made that joint on the radio like on it's just that was my buzz right yeah, strawberry pain and then from there i released my second record called certified you know and um that's when i started changing you know like i was growing you know mentally um atlanta definitely raised me as an adult mentally you know so i started growing mentally i was around um different folks you get what i'm saying that was pushing movers in in atlanta you know what i mean so yeah so it was helping me and i was doing things you feel what i'm saying i was still in them streets like I shouldn't have been. You feel what I'm saying? It happened. I, right. It happened. I, I was slowly but surely growing. Like you said, you were maturing. Right. I was slowly but surely growing and I was like, the mu music is where it's at. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, this is just happening out here. I was like, music, this is it. Like, I'm, I'm about to be a star. Like, <laughs> this is Atlanta, shoot. And everybody loved me. They say, I'm from Boston. They love me. Like, they say, oh, you got a different accent. You, uh, and it was all this stuff about an accent I had and you sound different and you sound like you from New Orleans. You yeah. sound like you from Cali. That's Louisiana. I, yeah, I was getting all this stuff. I was like, I'm not though. I'm from Boston. Like, I'm, I'm not from those places. <laughs> and it was like, they was like, well, you you sound like I'm, I don't know, but yeah, but we could be friends though. You know, let's go, let's go, let's go to the studio, let's do this. You know, so that's basically what I was doing. But. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like, for you to be able to like, you know, take all that put it in a pot, mix it all up, and serve it to a piece of yourself to everyone that is embracing you, embracing who you are, your music, your mind frame, your hustle, your grind, all of the above, you know. Is that hard for you? Oh, back then, was it hard for you to kind of like, not just put together, but to keep it together? Every aspect of you. It definitely was. Yeah. It definitely was. Um, but again, because I was going through a, a growth and development stage, so um, my music and where I was ch growing to was two different things. You know what I'm saying? I was so used to writing and talking about certain things, but really I was not living that lifestyle no more. I was slowly pulling away from certain things. You know what I mean? It's understandable. Yeah. yeah so it was it was a little struggle. It was a little struggle, and that's what kind of caused me to stop making music push back and I was just behind the scenes managing artists and so forth because I had to really discover myself again yeah. you understand what I'm saying I'm totally understandable and what you saying that your nails are gleaming right and I'm, I'm looking at your nails you got some beautiful nails but what happened right here okay so um I mean, if you want to talk about it yeah so this actually just happened um, like two days ago all right um, I like to cook Okay. Please teach me. I've been trying to learn how to cook. Oh my god. I like to cook. I suck, y'all. <laughs> I love to eat. You know, so basically I was cooking and there was a can on the counter and it was about to fall on a baby in the house and I grabbed oh, it. Man. And I grabbed it like this and it went right through my hand. So I had to end up getting stitches. Yeah, I had to get stitches, like because it went in close. I ain't gonna lie. If I was there, I would have. I, I would. I, I would. Y'all know I'd be lying if I said I would help out, but I'd be passed out. I, I hate blood. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just like, oh. I'm a man in other ways. <laughs> I couldn't even believe it happened. I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. Like, this just happened. Just, oh, my God. Yeah, so. Well, I hope it ain't hurting. Well, it don't seem like it's hurting because you didn't say ouch yet. It's not hurting. I definitely am a G. <laughs> I am. I am. It, it does. It is sore. It is sore. But. Okay. You know. What am I supposed to do? Cry about it? Oh no! I got Put it all in the end. Yeah, listen. See, th this is this is why we're interviewing Fari because you guys gotta understand something, right? Your accolades, your everything that you have going on with yourself, you know, especially in business, like you know, like you're a mover, you're a shaker, you make things happen, and you not only catch people's attention but you keep it, and that's a big deal, you know. So, you know, we're talking about that. You know, I want to go into, you know, some songs that you have, you know what I mean? Like Antidote, the one you did with Havoc. Like, how was you able to get with Mob Deep? You know, Havoc especially, you know, to, and, and uh, you know, Rest of Soul, Prodigy, man, much love, you know, much love. You know, and uh, how was you able to, 
you know, reach out and make that happen, that collaboration, because that your antidote is popping. So, um, me and Half go back. And for those who don't know, I am mob. Nice, so nice. yeah. Wait, so you mob deep? Yo, we got mob deep in the building. Oh snap! Hey, listen. I'm, I'm definitely mobbing. So. Hey, hey, listen. Y'all better understand. Everybody just can't come up here. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely mobbing. So yeah. Um, yeah, but yeah. we go, we go back. So it was nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Was- Shout out Havoc, man. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out Fari. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you know. What's up? Have. You- how come you didn't mention this before? You supposed to do your research. I did my research, but how come you didn't mention that before? I don't say I'm Talk about you being. Come on, who's going to know I- you are what? Mob Deep. When you think of Mob Deep, you think you of know. like hey, you know I know. Yeah. <laughs> he knows, but I'm saying little old me, like <laughs> you mentioned everything else but you be yo, that's fucking deep, yo. Congratulations. Thank you. Yo. Thank you. It's, I mean Don't be afraid to shout out Queens, man. Don't do that, yo. Queens. Be afraid. When I say Queens, oh shit, Queensbridge too though. Wow, but I'm talking about a queen. A queen. Wow. Yo, Fari, that's what's up, man. I took my hat to you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I am the first lady. You feel me? So um yeah, but have me and him just go back, we cool as hell. You know, um, he doesn't, as y'all know, he don't really do much collaborations with folks like that. You know what I mean? So I was fortunate to. Come on. The record. Yeah, that that's that's big. Cause what, like, you know, let's 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 get into that. But it's like you just really busted a cherry, like for the whole world to understand that you are the first lady. That's big. You get what I'm saying? Like, so now. Now you are there You know what I'm saying You're in there You're with him Side by side Y'all are doing your thing Like how is it for you Being you know The first lady To be able to really Have the inside And rock out with Havoc Because he's on A whole nother level He's amazing Yeah You feel me He is a genius Yeah he really is he's a genius he is um, one of the most humblest people I've been around that actually is in the industry you understand what I'm saying Um, we definitely can vibe you know we vibe really well Um, yeah I just I love him you feel what I'm saying he's family yeah yeah come on talk about it facts facts (laughs) so I mean it is what it is you know what I'm saying you feel what I'm saying I mean you know for you to, to you know once again kudos to you because a lot of people can't say that and it's not about you know to be honest with you it's not about trying to say oh you know all these people that we deal with and that no because think about it it took our grind right, right. my grind to do what I do mm-hmm. his grind to do what he does but we're talking about you your grind to do what you do yo kudos man thank you and that's what it is he recognized that with me and he definitely Boom. said that um, he told me uh, this was like last year I believe he said he called me the queen of Boston I said mm. damn I said that is a title that is and you know what and I, I and I told myself I can't do that and he was like I can't I, I don't feel comfortable being called the queen of Boston it's humble yeah I just thank you but I don't feel comfortable with that because there are so many other like amazing female artists here Fe- rappers that yes, is you understand yes, what I'm saying yes. and I feel like we're all queens of the city you understand what I'm saying no competition yeah none even though it's friendly competition no. in reality there's none none because we all have we're all in our own lane you feel what I'm saying so we can't be competing with each other when we're in our own lanes you know so it's just like and that's why I share the female artists music in my groups and stuff like that because I don't see them as competition I see them as my sisters you feel what I'm saying so I share them yo you she she is the first person now we interview a lot of people you know what I mean but like you are one of the first and only people or very few that really said like there's no competition and mean it because it's really a sisterhood it's a family thing let's lift each other up yo she's gonna have a whole bouquet of flowers after we done finish giving her all flowers because she's deep man oh, that's, that's so nice <laughs> that's so nice but no that's it's honestly, the truth that's honestly how i feel yeah. yeah that's that's honestly how i feel and um so i just feel like we all queens of the city you know what i mean so it's just not one queen in this motherfucker it's, mm. it's, it's, it's we're all queens you just took us to church 
No, yeah, it's, it's facts. It's facts, though. It to me, it's facts. To me, it's it facts. is facts. Yeah. Because every um, like to like my followers that are watching and stuff, like we all sound different. We all got different styles. You feel me? And if y'all was to listen to the other artists, you would say like, yeah, she's dope as fuck for what she do. Exactly. You feel what I'm saying? For what she do, she hella dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like. It's, no, recently, keep going yeah yeah re- <laughs> <laughs> so like recently um recently someone said something to me about sharing um a artist's a female artist's music in my group and they said why would you share her shit like y'all both make sexual content type of music i said the fuck See, that's hate. I was like, what the, and it was a guy, okay? It was a guy. Uh, uh, say that one more time. It was a dude that said this to me. So I was just like, what the, I said, what you mean, why did I share her, her shit? I shared it because she's the wettest in the city, she said. She's yeah. the wettest, the wettest. wettest. in the city, she said. So I'm sharing it because everybody needs to know she's the wettest in the city. You feel now, me? Now, all y'all who yeah. don't know what wettest mean, we ain't talking sexually. We're talking gifted. Dopest. That, sorry, I had to clarify it. Yes. <laughs> She's the wettest in the city. So everybody needs to know. And who 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 whose album is that? Who's I mean whose record is that? Do you know? Who just who's, dropped who's, who's the wettest? Who's who just dropped a record saying they the wettest in the city? Do you know? You did. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't me. Well, we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. But I'm saying who who I don't know who said that. Shot. I think it was her. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't. <laughs> Uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. So me and this artist, we both make sexual content. You Do you want to? You mind saying the artist name? I'm about to say who it is. Oh, oh, okay. Let me, let me, let me, let me. Can, can, can I guess? You are no. Okay. Uh, you know. Uh, artist from Boston. She deaf is. Bay Holla, my sis. Nah. Uh, sexual content. Oh, sexual content. I mean, there's a lot of them though. Now nah, there's one though that I say she's on top of the shit for her lane. Her name is Yaya Gabbana. Yaya Gabbana. Oh shit! Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Shout out to Yaya. Yo, how how can how, come on? Yeah, she she's definitely explicit. She's tough though. She's tough, but she's explicit. <laughs> Talk about it. <laughs> I fucks with it. <laughs> yeah. I'm I fucks with it. You know. They not, yo, listen. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Yo, she. And she's making noise. Facts. Yeah, yeah. So. I would, you should, please, do a song. Do a collab on that, please. Shake this shit up. Don't even worry about it. That's what. You I got a feeling she said that, because it's already in the making. Okay. Yeah. Don't, don't even worry about it. Two joints she gonna do with her. I know a lot of stuff going on. He he, y'all don't listen to this person, okay? This person don't know what he talking about. <laughs> but yeah, Yaya Gabbana, you know she's dope as hell, and um, she's another you know female artist from Boston. So and that's why I said that you know um, nah, Fari X ain't the queen. There's several queens out here. You feel me? Share the royalty. Exactly, and there's so much bread in the market. How the hell can we be starving? You, you just said that, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I love how you said that. Yeah, it's the truth. Yeah, yeah. I love the fact that, again, going back to what we were talking about, how people in Boston, there's a hate stigma. You got to leave here to be able to come back here and make it whatever, right? What you just said, you just really put a stamp on what should have already been stamped on Boston. You said collaborate. You said teamwork. You said sisters. You get what I'm saying? Like sisterhood, sisterhood yeah. is important. You feel me? Teamwork. Exactly. Because how a lot of artists is out here, um, they complain about not elevating here. They complain about, oh, it's this crab in the bucket thing. It's this, is that. Nobody support. You know, a lot of people say the same stuff, but they're the same people that don't support other people. You ain't lying. You know how many people I ran into, right? And I'm sure you could pick this up. Uh-huh. There's people that I ran into that be like, yeah, call me, man. I got you, L, blah, 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 blah. You call them, blow their phone up. Next thing you know, crickets. Mm-hmm. And these are people who are established, never mind the up and comings who's being taught that bullshit. Like, it's crazy. Right, right. So how do you expect to level up if you're trying to keep everyone down? 
Like, you understand what I'm saying? You can't level up like that. You got to have everyone back and you got to back each other. What college did you go to? Uh, you know, I went to college. Because you sound smart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep it 2024%. But not only that, you told me over before. Oh, I did. I did. I did. So, <laughs> Sorry, I tried to cheat code. <laughs> But you do sound very intelligent. So I went to Great Basin in Las Vegas. I also went to Georgia State. So yeah, I went. Shout out to Georgia State, man. Yeah, and, that's tough. And I and I also went to Malik College. That's another college in Georgia. Okay, shout out, shout out. So I can't forget about Malik College. You feel me, Georgia? And yeah, Great Basin. I went to Great Basin College for acting. Nice. What was that? Was your that was your major? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What was your minor? Oh, playwright. Yes. Okay. Did you have a minor? English. Yes. Yeah. That's where your screenwriting and all that comes into play. Yes. Ah, uh, see, now I, I'm I'm so glad that we're we're talking about screenwriting because obviously, right, you have a series coming out called The Av. Like you do everything from music to acting to di like directing and just screenwriting. Like, let's talk about that. Let's get off music for a minute. All right. Yes. If you don't mind. Yeah, we can talk about the ad. Uh, I can't. I get back to the music, though. All right, so. <laughs> the way she said the ad, like, yeah, you know, she's getting ready to get into it. The ad. All right, so for those, um, so the ad, there's ads all across the United States, as you know. But there's only one Blue Hill ad. You feel me? So there's only one Blue Hill ad. But. There's actually two. Where the hell is it at? Because they Connecticut. Don't count. It's called Blue Hills Ave, though. See, that's like I said, there's only one Blue Hill Ave. <laughs> I was in Connecticut and I said only that, man. One Blue Hill Ave. You feel me? I can't even argue that. No. But yeah, it's, it's about the Ave. You feel me? And. Um, so I would say that the Av, the the actual series is a cross between like The Wire, BMF, and Greenleaf. Yes. Three major. Yes. Okay, wow. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it's definitely gonna. It's it's going to blow. Yeah. So, like, what what so, made you want to come up with those concepts, like to have all three in one? So it wasn't just me. It also was my partners, um, Stefan Josie, Sticks Josie. He is from Columbia Point. Yes, um, and also the original Candy Girl from Bobby Brown's video. Mm. You know who that is? Yeah. Okay. Yes, Latamra Smith. Smith. So yes, it was the three of us. And um, it just, yeah. Came together. Yeah, they, they definitely was like, I love the fact that they believe in me. In your vision. Just, just as much as I believe in them. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I love that, you know, and, and because they're, they're um, my elders, you understand what I'm saying? They're my elders. Understand. So it's like, hmm. Like they trust me, you feel me? Like they trust me. That's big. Like they trust me, and and I love it. I love it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm so glad that you know. Even while you're talking about you, obviously, like you're not holding back with shedding love and showing love to those that are responsible for what you're doing, man. And that's that's big. Me. Yeah, it's not all me. It's not all me. You know, it definitely takes teamwork to make the dream thing happen. The dream work, yeah. yes, to make everything happen. So yeah, the Av uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, that I can't say much because we are on a non-disclosure. But NDA. Yeah. See, I love NDAs, but I hate NDAs, especially when it comes to conversation because she can't mention nothing but the Av. <laughs> the Av. I, no, I, I wanted to know so much more about the series, but you gotta respect I the craft. Was saying yeah. Greenleaf, The Wire, and BMF. You know, That's combined. Do you like, understand? That's gonna be a hit. Just come on, the app. Yes, people gonna watch it. Period. Just by that name. Remember? Do you remember the? Uh, you remember? The, uh, you gotta remember the old school movie Blue Hill Ave. That movie was trash. <laughs> Yo, don't. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> they in no, they, they shot that in L.A. Wait a minute. That happened in Canada. Wait a minute. I can't. I can't speak much on it because I can. It sucked. Hey, 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 don't be talking about, you know. <laughs> it was trash. I, I'm putting it out there. It was trash. Well, La Tamra, so Even La Tamra, the people who made the movie hated the way it came out. Well, I don't care. La Tamra, <laughs> let me say, La Tamra played in that movie. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, she played in that movie. Yeah, I don't care if it was trash. Well, it ain't her fault. She still got her money and did what she did. 
<laughs> did she? Did she? I don't know. Did you, did you get wait, wait. Oh, she's on the live. Latamra, you got your. Let me see, girl. <laughs> let's let's see, Latamra. Speak up, Steph. Speak Where's up. she at? Where's she at? Where Latamra at, Steph? Let, let's watch this together. I don't know. I I, I don't know. It's a lot of y'all on here. Again. Tell them that you did again. Latamra, get your booty on this live. I don't know where you at, but we need you up on here. We we got we got um questions. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we got questions. <laughs> but she's a whole boss out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I will never doubt that. She's tough. Her name rings bells. I'm just saying the movie that she was in, that she starred in, that has it was horrible, but she has nothing to do with that. You get what I'm saying? Interesting, though. It was still interesting. The the film was interesting. How they how they depicted, you know, Blue Hill. It was interesting for people who didn't know. They they, you know, they you know, the people who didn't know. They they obviously found it interesting. Like, see, she's staying giving people their flowers. I love it, but that movie was trash. I'm glad she's doing the new Av. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna give it props. I'm gonna give it props and flowers. I don't care how trash it was. Okay, you know what? I'm, a, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not gonna say I was hating. I was, just, I was just being a critic. But okay, give shout out to 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 Blue Hill Ave. However, Ave though, Ave, Ave is gonna come on. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Let's talk about Ave, the Ave, right? Mm -hmm. So, can we talk a little bit about your character? A little bit. Okay, well, you mention as much as you want, so I won't, you know. <laughs> I, you get what I mean? Like, I need your NDA. I have to keep that in mind. All right, so I will say this. I am, So my mother and father, who are on the cover, or the, the poster that you all see, though that's... Though, thank you. So those are my parents, okay? My parents are mob, ex-mob bosses mm -hmm. and pimps. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? X. So, um, bottom line is this: is me. I am actually following in their footsteps, and I'm older now, and I now am running certain things in the on them streets, in them streets. Okay, let's leave it at that. Let's let's leave it there. Let's leave it there. And my daddy, he's a force to be reckoned with, and so is my mama. Damn. See. Yeah. I, I honestly I can't wait for it to drop because it sounds definitely intriguing it sounds like something that I would want to watch my peoples my family you know those that are intrigued to not even the lifestyle of the streets ain't nothing wrong with that I mean it comes with consequences but so does it not being in the streets you get what I'm saying so you're gonna have both sides of the fence that's gonna want to see the av you get what I mean like it's drug that's huge movement drug movement whole pimping and pandering you feel me mob shit yeah. Is there suspense? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a suspense dude. Yeah, 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 yes. <laughs> she, she went back. She's thinking that. And don't I have y'all suspense? Dude, and, ain't I creating suspense here? Like, <laughs> Come on. That's a scene that now. Uh, some of the, do you mind talking about some of the people that are involved with the series? Yes, I do mind. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Uh, what about some Can of the... I say that nicely? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, you didn't say that rude. Nah, nah, you ain't rude. Shit, I mean, oh, you was fine. Yes. You can mind, it's okay. I mind. Okay. Not even, <laughs> I'm trying to get it out of her. I'm trying to keep the NDA in mind, but I'm trying to get it out of her. <laughs> no, yo, that's love. That is love. So, you know, um, with you, you know, being a, a wonderful music artist, you're, you're, you're trending, you're killing them. You're not only that, you're an innovator. You know, now, going into your acting, you know, your production, your directing, you know, different things of that nature. And that's what I kind of wanted to get into. Like, what made you want to become a director? Well, I've been directing, like, as far as my music videos go. You understand what I'm saying? As far as that goes. And then um, the first actual film that I did and I helped direct was Watch Over Me. That was in 2012. Mm. You know, and that was really interesting to be a part of that. You know, and um, I wasn't the main director; I was just helping the director assistant. Still a director. You know, I was assistant. I had a small role in there where I was acting, and I kind of was like, I like this. And then um, I was a part of another film where I was helping direct, and I was like, I like this. I want to write 
something you know i want to so you got bit by the bug like right there yeah 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 like the bug kind of bit me when i was in vegas when i started going to school for acting you know that's when it bit me and i was like yeah i was like i want to do this you know so um i just knew i wanted to do entertainment period like that's just all it was. Multi-talented. Yeah, the, the the acting, the music, the modeling, you know. Um, I was just always into just entertainment. Now, do you mind going into the modeling? Like, cause obviously, you know, a lot of people, they try to get their niches in or they, they get their starts and some things like that. But, like, you not only, as I'm understanding, you're not only, you not only modeled, but you also managed, you owned your own agency at that yeah. time. Yeah. You know, like, uh, how was it being able to, you know, manage not only yourself, but so many other models that you had around you? I'm sure the girls, the guys that you had to help. Because it wasn't just about your career at that point. It was about you helping their careers. Like, how was that, like, for you? It was an amazing experience, and um, I still have my company. I just don't have all those girls anymore, those models. I was... um, That's fine. Sometimes less is more. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have them, but a few of them are still around, and, you know, and they still are a part of my company. Loyal. You know what I'm saying? Yes, they're still part of my company. One of them are watching right now. So, it's just like, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) So, um, yeah, like I said, it was a very... It was a an eye opening experience. I got to learn a lot, you know, um, because I was in Vegas. You know, I got to put that out there again. I was in Vegas when it started. So strippers, prostitutes. You understand what I'm saying? Good Lord. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, you're sin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I didn't know who I was getting when they came in to, you know, ask me to be their manager for my, you know, I was like, okay, are you a hoe or what, what, you, what you doing? Like, what's going on here? You know? Like, what's, yeah, what's happening? Oh, no, you got to ask questions. You're right. What's happening? Because I ain't got my pimp card, baby. So what's happening right now? Like, so, so, you know, so I had to figure things out, you know, right. but it was an experience and I loved it. And, um, yeah, I still would do it if I could. I'll probably go back and manage girls again. I don't see why you wouldn't, because think about it, right? Even with you doing movies now and things now, you just being not in front of the camera, but behind the camera, you're going to have to go get, you know, some girls and, you know, people to... do it again. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? I, I know you're very successful at it. Yeah, I, I Flowers am. again. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I would like to say I am really well with management. I, I do very, very good with management. Um, I actually wrote a book called Luxury Box, and it was kind of about my company that I started in Vegas and that I moved into Georgia with. And um, it was about the girls, you know, s- sort of. Some of it's fiction, you know, so don't think anything crazy if you go read the book. All right? <laughs> but... <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is some fiction in there. A lot of fiction, all right. But yes, it kind of has something to do with my company. Right. You know what I mean? And um, again, it was called Luxury Box. So. That's big, man. Yeah. Congratulations on your, you know, everything, all of your accolades. And that means so much to me. Like, even just sitting here and just listening to you, it's like, wow, like, wow, like, wow, like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Like, it makes you think that you're not just out here to be doing it you know what i mean you're out here changing lives you get what i mean i do my best i do my best to help well flowers again yeah thank you (laughs) thank you i do my best to help because i didn't have that help like that you know what i mean so once i once i acquired all the knowledge and skills i said i can help people you know i can help people and i'm not gonna have them go the, the hard way and the long way like i did yeah but as long as I see that they're serious, then I'm going to help them. I see that that part right there. Um, don't, don't waste my time. That's yeah, what it is. That you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And I get a lot of people that come to me because they don't really know. Um, they have ideas of what I might be doing. You know what I'm saying? They see me on social media. They see my posts that go out. Like, well, she just be clowning on there. She all the time about this. You feel what I'm saying? But then there's people that they're looking. They're like, she doing something. But they don't know what I'm doing. So they'll come in my inbox. And they'll start off with a message that makes me read it. You know what I'm saying? Catches your attention. Yeah, that catches my attention. And I'll read it. And I see that they're trying, you know, I, I want to manage you. I want to do this. Look, baby. I'm saying to myself, look, baby, you don't even know who you're talking to right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you don't even know what I got going on. Like, you know what I mean? But it, you know, so. You're entertaining yourself reading it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. At like, that point. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You want to manage me? Oh, you know what? Let me tell you what I do and what I can do. And, but okay, that's nice. You know, I'm, I'm very proud of you. That's why I tell them, I'm very proud of you, you know. But, you know, I can help you do this. And I'm thinking, like, you know, I already did that. You know what I'm saying? But 
I don't say that to them. I just say, all right, well, I, I really don't need your services with that. You know what I mean? Um, I'm actually in a different area in my life right now, you know? Plateau. Yeah, like, so with some of the things that they come to me and offer me, I've already done all that on my own, literally, so on my own. So you is actually helping them. Yeah, on my own. I mean, if you got to be technical, let's be honest, you coming in is helping them. It, it definitely is. Anyone that I work with, I help them. You know what I mean? Like I, you said, teamwork. Yeah, I definitely help them. And um, like I earlier today, I was talking to um, my partner with the the um, the series we're working on, the Av. And something he said to me is completely true. You feel what I'm saying? And I always say, like, we learn from each other. You understand what I'm saying? Like, we learn from each other. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yes, man. So when I enter something, I don't enter it as a know-it-all because I'm always listening. And I always learn. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Like, okay. All right. You feel what I'm saying? Okay. All right. And if I know something and I know that the person doesn't know, then I'm going to tell them. As long as we're, we're working together, I'm going to tell you. Like, because, um, nah, you ain't about to do something stupid made me look stupid. We about to, we, you feel what I'm saying? And ruin the whole project and everything going on. You know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, we, all right, this is what we do. So, yeah. But when they come to my inbox with that mess, you know, like, I don't know. They try me a lot, you know, because they just don't know. Right. They just don't know. So, I get tried a lot. You understand know what I'm saying? Well, oh, you turning that into positive, uh, how do you say, uh, positive energy, feel, positive fuel? Is that the word? You're doing a great job at doing that. Thank you. Thank you. Flowers. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm, I'm glad you mentioned that because, you know, I want to I want to go into uh, your new song you have out. Right. Everything. You know, Everything. what made you come out with that concept? It's a banging song now. All y'all go on there and check out everything. Look. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Please talk about it. Gosh. That song is banging. Ooh. And I don't say that about a lot of people's songs. Do you not really? For real? You don't really do no, that? I really don't. Oh, no. Shit. Really you hear bad. that? Y'all hear that? So, everything. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to be completely 100 with you all. Everything is a combination of different things that I went through in the last 15 years. And it wasn't with a, one single person. You understand what I'm saying? So it was like, um, I actually created the hook to everything like 15 years ago. Like? Yes. Did, uh, can, can, I, can I pause for a minute? Yes. Okay, check check this out. So I just had a conversation not too long ago, right? And it was with it was with uh, a very good friend of mine who's heavy in the music industry, and we were going back and forth, you know, having a wonderful a wonderful conversation. How a lot of artists, especially successful ones, like I'll call them out, uh, Lil Wayne, my guy, Drake, my guy, all them wonderful people, they are still making music that they made years ago that we're seeing is new. Like, so I'm so glad you just touched on that. So can you please? elaborate on that so I have an archive of music mm. like hella music mm. and um, it's funny to me because people just think I only have these songs that they just hearing mm. and they just they really don't know that I've been releasing music since 2004 and that sounds like today's music yes and everything was written mm -hmm. like almost 15 years ago and the hook was mm -hmm. So the hook, yeah, I came up with that concept. I um, was like, you know what? I, I think I love somebody. You know, I think I love somebody. I think, you know, that's kind of what it was like, I think, yeah, yeah. do I love somebody? Like, you know what I mean? So <laughs> I think I love someone. Right. So, so then it was like, so I made the hook. Um, I actually t changed a, a little bit of the hook a little bit, you know. Um, tweaked it a little bit. I just tweaked it, but the concept of everything was started about 15 years ago. Um, the first verse, I wrote that seven years ago. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Like, that's Yo, that's nuts, y'all, because honestly, I, I would really have thought that you made that joint like at least two months ago I would not give it seven years 14 years oh, come on matter of fact nah I wrote that no no so I wrote that first verse nine years ago so, that's still years ago yeah 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 2014 I think I wrote that verse so like nine years ago I wrote the first verse oh, yeah, yeah 
<laughs> I'm, I'm saying she got me. I'm so, sorry. I'm just so happy for your accomplishments. Keep going. Keep, keep going. Damn. The beat, I was already working on it. I already had it in my head how I wanted the beat to go. So it was already in my head. I was already working on the beat. Like, so I was like, you know, I want the beat to be like this. You feel me? I was playing around a little bit, you know, with with FL Studio, playing around a little bit, you know. Man, you got mad props with the, you, yeah, yo, she I makes do. beats. She's a producer. I do. Can, can I you do. please let them know, like, I yeah, get, come on. Oh, <laughs> shit. Do y'all understand who's here right now? Y'all need to be paying attention. <laughs> I was playing around a little bit on it, you know, just a little bit. But it was like, I know, I knew, I heard the beat in my head 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? All, all, all the beats that you have, like, excuse me, but all, all the beats that you have, right? The ones that I've heard, you get what I'm saying? Like, them shits are bangers. Them shits dudes will rock on. Be like, yo, I need that beat. I'm sure that happened before. It's like... It, Yes, and um, just to let yeah, if y'all need a beat, a, a producer, yes, yes Fari X, hit her up, please. Yes, now I do make my beats. I don't make all of them, but I do make um, I do make some of my beats. Uh, my homegirl also makes beats for me. Yes, we some sisters in here making mm. beats. Um, and then I also deal with a couple producers down south, so it's kind of collaboration on things. Yeah. Teamwork, definitely get it in. We get it in. Yeah. Come on, Fari. Oh my God. <laughs> But I don't sit there, I don't talk much, I just, I don't say much, you know, on social media. I, I really just like posting and making people laugh. <laughs> I like making people laugh on social media. <laughs> and I like making people think I'm crazy. I like making people thinking I'm, I got split personality disorder. <laughs> there you are, crazy. <laughs> So I love that. I love it. She's crazy. I'm to see. I, I I will say this, like all, all jokes aside, she's a hell of a hell of a producer. Like her, I wish we had a speaker here, but we'll, 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 yeah, just just check it out. You'll hear it for yourself. But y'all need y'all need a team that's on that music like that. It's her right here, Fari X. Fari. Ah. Yeah, so. <laughs> so, Fari, I want to jump in. Let me what? ask you a question real quick. Who are your female, favorite female MCs? Yeah. Wait Nothing. a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Come here. I ask him real quick. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, good. Ask him real quick. Just ask him real quick. Oh, wait, wait. No, but be careful. Be yeah, careful. No, I'm good. Yeah. All right. All right. Let me ask you this. Who are your favorite female MCs that you grew up to that motivated you to even get into rap? Okay, you All go right. back now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good, good. All right. Oh, oh man. man. To answer the question, right. where are you at with it? Okay, so it's funny. It's it's funny that he asked me that because someone literally just asked me that the other day and I felt like I was being interviewed, right? That I was on the phone with. What's gonna shock y'all the most is that the person who really, really inspired me to rap at a young age was Raven Simone. Yo, I love Raven Simone. You know I used to have a crush on her? I, yo, yo, you know, you know I used to have a crush on her? I was, I was like eight years old or something like that. Seven, I was seven. You had to be around. I was like seven years old and she made a song called That's What Little Girls Are Yeah, she did, she did. That's what little Girls Are Made Of. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, she's a little girl rapping? Like, I could do that. I could do that. So I started rapping because Raven Simone was rapping. She was, yeah. she was doing her thing. She, her and the brat. Yes. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was like, and I already liked the brat. Yeah. yeah. I already liked the brat. She was tough. I think I was like nine. You know, no, I was like nine when that song came up. You know, you used to write her lyrics because my cousin did beats for Rick. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But uh, Shaheen. Uh, oh, Shaheen did. The rugged child. Wrote Shaheen the lyrics. did. Yeah, that's something Yeah. So. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I know the brat had a lot to do with her, you know, as an artist and everything like that, because that's her auntie. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? So, and I definitely love. Wait a minute. I thought she was her her godmother or something. Oh, that's her aunt, her blood aunt. Her blood aunt. Wow, that's right. deep. So I was like, hmm, I like the brat. And matter of fact, my mama used to do my hair like the brats because I wanted to be the brat. 
she was a major influence. I wanted to be the brat. You know what I'm saying? And then, like, I used to try to rap fast, I, and I loved Bone Thugs and Harmony. Come on, rap. talk about yes, it. Yes, I love Bone. So the brat rapped fast, Bone rapped fast, and then I started getting on Twista and Do or Die, and I was like, ooh, like, you feel what I'm saying? And I was like a fast rapper back then. You know what I'm saying? You think you can still do that? I definitely can. Ooh, I ain't gonna tell you to do it. It's just good to hear, like you, you know, you you have you're very diverse, you're very versatile. Like, mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, that was definitely who in, originally inspired me, and then. And then Lil' Kim came out. Oh, shout out to Lil' Kim. You got to shout her out, man. Yeah. Come on. Then Lil' Kim came out, and at that time, I was a teenager, you know? So I'm like, it was a rap. It was a rap from there. Like, it was a rap. It's cool how you were able to take those influences and make them a part of your journey. Oh, yeah. Lil' Kim, Foxy, Charlie Baltimore. Oh, she went back. Yeah. You went back? Shout out to her. She mm -hmm. was on Black TV. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Like, that, that they was in Queen Pen. Yeah. It was like. Love Queen Pen. Yeah, Queen yeah. Pen. It was I. Right, these these are the females, you feel me? And, um, yeah, and a lot of people say, oh, Miss MC Light. You know, I listened to MC Light, but she wasn't my influence. You understand what I'm saying? I was more influenced by animated rappers. You know, because Brat was animated, Kim was, was animated. Yes, you understand yes. what I'm saying? I like the animated rappers. Even like the Busta Rhymes of like. Yes, yeah. I liked that. You understand what I'm saying? Missy Elliott. I was about to say yes, yeah, and Elliot. then Missy yeah, came. Buddy. You feel me? Then Missy came, and she was like singing and rapping, and then. In between that, then there was this conscious woman that crept in a dough named Lauren Hill. You Talk about it. So oh, I was like, man. damn. I was like, what is going on? You feel me? So it was just like, I, it was just so much greatness back then with, within the female artists. You feel what I'm saying? And then my number one, you know, um, inspiration, one of my number one inspirations is Erica Badu. I love Erica. I love just her, her whole, her, her persona. That's how I can understand why she's your, come on. Yeah, Talk about it. Oh she's definitely one of my number ones. And have you said I'm gonna hold? Um, you better stick to your word. I ain't playing. You said you were gonna make it happen. Hey. So I just I, it's I, happened. I, I, I <laughs> shit like. You know how I feel about Erica. Don't play with me, mother. You know. Yo, I'm, speak that in existence. Claim that. Yeah, I, I don't. I just want to. I just want to meet her. Like that's all. That's big. I just want to. I just want to meet her and light some sage and incense. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> and, and just chop it up one time. That's what I want to do with Erica. You know, like. Yeah. Sure, and I can just sing a little bit with her. You know. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. And, you know, uh, my last question to you is, is, you know, where can everybody find you, you know, on social media uh, to where if they want to hit you up, they want to submit, uh, you know, pictures, acting videos, anything of that nature to want to collaborate with you and get involved with you? All right. So those are two different answers, actually. Okay. That's right. fine. So on uh, social media, I can be found, okay, on Facebook. I have five different accounts y'all but um my main accounts are queen boss fari on facebook and nikki fari x petty p-e-t-t-i-e n-i-k-e-y that's how you spell nikki um then i also have my yep i also have my fari x page on facebook it's just fari x or you could put in i am fari x so i'm also on twitter i am fari x or the x app now i love it the x app you feel me <laughs> fari x yeah. anyway um i get it <laughs> <laughs> the x app so yeah i'm on twitter i am fari x i am on instagram fari x wisdom um and as far as booking goes, you can contact half, you know, um, but you got to be serious because he is not going to reply to just anybody. Yeah, don't be trying to pull no, don't just, he's about his business. She's about her business. Make sure y'all about y'all's business. Yeah, you can definitely contact half. Sorry, I had to. <laughs> yeah. 
you can definitely contact Hav or you can also go through me if you're a little intimidated by Hav because some people are you can also go through me but just know that I'm not giving uh, no deals because you went through me or something like that um, the only people and I'm just going to be absolutely honest I do any the people that I work with the most and I'm, and I'm willing to do the most work we are people from my city um, because I feel like it's very imperative that we all come up at this point you know and I definitely just want to help as much as I can you understand what I'm saying so if you're good to me I'm gonna be good to you simple as that um, but the email is bookingfari at gmail.com um, yes bookingfari at gmail.com and uh, yeah so you could definitely hit that up um, have will respond I will respond just depends you understand what I'm saying you go through me but again if you come to me you gotta come correct because I will dismiss